God is not too thrilled. As to how you're showing up for yourself, shortchanging yourself, not understanding and awareness when God puts you on a mission, a mission to understanding your healing, a mission to understanding that respect your neighbor and help your neighbor. But when a child of God reaches out to their neighbor and that supposedly child of God dims the light on another child of God, God is saying, wait, 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 what are you doing today? It's the thought process of me. You say, yeah, it takes a village to raise a child and it also takes a village in the community to be at peace within, to respect each other. But when your neighbor reaches out to you, the other child of God, child of God, you got to understand that you have to work together as a team. You have to work together as a team. That child of God has information that's trying to be expressed. Is too late. But you're so caught up in your depression. You're so caught up in your ways. You're so caught up in not wanting someone to dim your light because of your fame. It'd be the thought process for me. When you reach out to a child of God, it's like that child of God dims your light because of the fact that of your sexual orientation. Discrimination is real. Never judge a book boss cover, neighbor, and I say that respectfully. Because when you are a child of God, you help the people. And you don't look for nothing in return when you're dealing with God's timing. And I say that respectfully. So when you understand the assignment that a child of God is presenting themselves to you, and they're acknowledging, hey, hey, hey. God said it's happening. God said it's happening. God said it's happening. Wake up, wake up. God don't care about your fame. God don't care about what money you got in your pocket, where you're trying to go tomorrow. God is understanding there's something going on right now and that that needs to be effective. And if that child of God's voice is not too powerful or as powerful as one of you, you're supposed to understand the assignment within the assignment you help each other, not go against each other as competition. It's the thought process for me. When the one-sided conversation is the one-sided conversations, it'd be the thought process for me. How they possibly could say it, it takes a village to raise a child. Wow. But they forget at the end of the day who's watching over the children when all the adults are going against these themselves or when all the adults are fighting each other and all the adults are shortchanging themselves to understand the awareness to pay attention to the children. It'd be the thought process for me. They say it takes a village to raise a child. But what happened to people protecting the village of the children? It'd be the thought process for me. You're worried about partying and bullcrapping. You're worried about doing all this toxic behavior within toxic behavior, fighting each other, proving the point that someone knows how to tie their shoe better. It'd be the thought process for me when common sense ain't common sense. What happens to respecting each other? It's the thought process for me. Wake up, wake up, wake up. God said it's timing. It'd be the thought process for me. Wow. They say because you speak up and you're real with yourself to be real with an innocent person, that child of God, your neighbor. You think you better than somebody. You think you're more spiritual than somebody. You have all these beliefs within beliefs. Don't nobody care what you got to say today. But why wait until it's too late, ma'am, sir? That child of God was speaking and nobody heard that child of God speak. It was the thought process for me. Help the people. Help the people. And they tried to dim that child of God's light. It was the thought process for me. Everything could have been taken care of before it escalated, before it escalated. You know, it's kind of funny how the tables turn because God says judgment's day is here. And you got to understand to pay attention within paying attention because not everybody's a chosen one. Not everybody's a child of God and I say that respectfully when you know you know and you ain't got a fake gas like nobody cause God works in mysterious ways cause God works in mysterious ways respectfully never judge a book boss cover I said what I said it's the thought process for me respect yourself to respect your neighbor good day bad day misunderstanding day stop the violence Self-awareness is very important. Self-respect is very important. 
Self-control is very important. Self-discipline is very important. Self-peace is very important. Self-healing is very important. Self-confidence is very important. Self-care is very important. Self-value is very important. Self-love is very important. Self-worth is very important. Self-patience is very important. Healthy boundaries. Healthy balance. So you can elevate to become your best self vision of yourself. So you won't live in fear or be discouraged or allow your trauma and your pain to display today. And I say that respectfully. But you got to mean what you say and say what you mean. Be real with yourself without wearing a mask to heal mentally. Regardless of what trauma and pain was indulged with you from a child point of view going into your adulthood. Sorry it happened to you. But don't allow yourself to become a victim because they made you victim. Maybe being sexually assaulted as a child. When it came to your trauma, your pain, discrimination, violence, hate crime, dysfunctional folks, it went into your adulthood, domestic violence, trauma on top of trauma, dysfunctionalness. You matter, you're worthy, whatever sickness you put a name to your book. Sorry they overlooked you. But how can we possibly make change when we're going against each other, disrespecting each other? Shortchanging each other. Don't allow your trauma and your pain to allow you to stop you from becoming your best self vision of yourself when it wasn't God's plan. And I say this respectfully. Not everybody's a child of God. And not everybody's a chosen one. No, they're not. No, they're not. And I say that respectfully. It's the thought process for me. Protect your energy because not everybody is deserving of your time. They say it takes a village to raise a child, and it also takes a village and a community to be at peace within and to respect each other. With no malicious intentions to bring harm towards yourself or others around you, it's called respect, neighbor. Have a safe day. Have a safe week. Protect your energy because not everybody's having your time. Just because someone gave up on you, don't give up on yourself. Just because someone overlooks you, don't give up on yourself. You are genuinely loved by all the right people. You are genuinely respected by all the right people. And you deserve to be treated with respect. 365 days with no malicious intentions to bring harm towards yourself or others around you. Protect your energy because not everybody is deserving to get time. Never allow a hate in disguise or a person with intentions. It's like you watch your thought process, learning your freedom, your pockets, or your eyesight, because they don't have good intentions. You matter, you are worthy. Protect your energy, because not everybody's deserving your time. I truly appreciate your time to the genuine ones only. Have a safe day, have a safe week, have a safe weekend. Love yourself, love yourself. With God's protection for every direction. Love yourself, love yourself. With God's protection for every direction. Now you genuine love and respect. I gotta go.